10 more minutes to go and then the chocolate is also ready mm -mm -mm. good morning how are you it is 7 a.m welcome to my very messy kitchen and yeah i promise you i would start vlogging in the morning right now i just meditated for an hour I, oh, it's so nice to wake up at six and uh now we're off to uh the woods Armstrong to boss because i can't do yoga and i usually do yoga for two hours now but uh, it's that time of the month and you're not supposed to do yoga. I know you can do some light stuff and yada yada, but it's not my jam. So I'd rather go for a nice long two hour walk in the woods and you're coming with me, at least if you wanna, please, you wanna, please, please, please. <laughs> we go we are in the woods yeah Amsterdam so boss oh man today is going to be another hot day and now it's just so nice it's warm but it's not too warm and oh the the scents in the air are like so summery it is a perfect morning to do a nice walk the walking route that we are going to do is the first walking route I ever did in this forest. It's a forest actually, it's not woods, it's a forest. But yeah, it was like right after week uh, when I heard, or actually when I finally confessed or admitted to myself I had a burnout. And after a week of being at home and sleeping a lot, I decided it was time to get out and I went to this forest and this is the first walking ride I did and I never did it since. So let's do this again because it was also like the first time I realized that I miss nature so, so, so much and how much I love nature and how good it is to be in nature. Did you know, by the way, did you know? Uh, research shows people who are in nature well, for one and a half hours a day, so 90 minutes, show significantly lower stress levels than people who don't do it. And I think it's like 40% lower stress levels or something. So uh, if that's not correct, I'm just saying it's significantly lower than people who don't spend any time in nature each day. So nature is really good for you. <laughs> One of you guys actually sent me this research about hiking in nature and woods uh, on Facebook. I love you so much. You are so freaking smart. Thank you for making me smarter. I remember I was planning my um, my trip in Asia when I uh, when I got a burnout and I was forced to spend six months at home and I already had Jiujai go on my bucket list and then I came across this place and I was like wow it so reminds me of Jiujai go and Jiujai go is so much more beautiful but I remember I remember standing here and I was like, okay, so this is a little preview of Geojago because this is also, look at these colors, light green, dark green. 
it's so freaking pretty the reflection in the water everything i was like okay geojago i am for sure coming for you but thank you nature for this preview i think the reason why being in nature is so freaking relaxing is because nature gives you perspective of what's really important because you know it's so easy to get caught up in daily life and people wanting you to do things and deadlines and responsibilities and yada 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 and i think when you're in nature you realize so many things are not in your control like the sun over there it's so freaking pretty i didn't make it rise i don't make it you know i don't make the sun set i don't make the grass grow i don't make the trees grow i don't even make my own heart Beat, you know it's it's just there and so many things fix themselves when you just let go it's one of my biggest learnings traveling by myself like if when you let go things will fix themselves trust me and of course you have to do things but usually a lot of things come natural when you let go and it's not so much stress and it's not so much pressure so this weather man this weather Earth. So huge, he could be a bear, but he looks like a big cuddly bear, don't you? Don't you? Ariel. Okay, no, he's not interested in me. And also, you know, this especially goes for me personally. Sometimes, actually, no, let me rephrase that. A lot of times, most of the times, I think I have to do so many things. Wait. And Actually, I don't. I don't have to do anything. I don't have any kids. If you have kids or pets, yes, I understand the responsibility. But if you are just by yourself, if you're single, or if you have an adult partner who lets you do the things that you like, there are not that many things that you have to do. It, like, honestly, like, you wouldn't even have to make money. You could just live here and eat the things that nature has to provide. Of course, if you don't want to do that, then you will have to earn money and but that's something you want to do it's not something you have to do you know and that that's maybe an extreme but i promise you if you look at the things uh at, at the list of things you think you have to do at least with my list it's always like 80 percent. i don't have to do it i don't have to do it i want to do it but i don't have to do it and it always puts things in perspective for me like what's important and what's not important not sure if all this makes a little bit sense for you but, or if you're thinking Ivana you lost it go home go to sleep <laughs> but yeah that's what nature does to me Okay, now I'm tired. Time to go back, have breakfast, and take a nap. I think that's a very good idea. Breakfast, so oatmeal with coconut milk, mango, and some nuts and raisins, yum. This is what I love to do when I want to cuddle Stefan. Nap time. Hello, it is 1.30 p.m. and I have nothing to say for myself. I really enjoy that map, map, nap. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get up, get some lunch, see if we can get some work done today. I actually have a lot of things to do, but <laughs> this was a priority. Naps are always a priority, man. Lunch, some old cheese with rice crackers. Mm. I'm drooling, I'm drooling, because I haven't eaten old cheese in such a long time, and you know it's old, like really old, when you see like the salt crystals, oh man, that's the best. Almost 6.45 p.m., I edited some videos, I had a Skype call with my brother, um, and some other phone calls, so nothing really interesting, unless you're into secrets and stuff, and to my deepest, darkest secrets, I will never tell. I refuse. <laughs> Anyways, I um, I have to make some food, and I actually did groceries because I wanted to make the Raco Verde chili, 
But I just saw we have some food left over from yesterday and I hate throwing away food so let me see what I'm gonna do. Problem solved, I'm just gonna have both. So I'm making the Raco Verde chili and the leftovers from yesterday. It was not that much and it was mostly lentils so I can use that instead of rice. Awesome. Right now I'm also going to make chupatsi again for the second time but I has problem another one. <laughs> I has problem another one. Wow, that was really bad. I has another problem. I put the butter in the fridge. I put the butter in the fridge, which is not good because the butter should be on room temperature, just like the eggs, if you want the cake to be successful. So, um, I don't know what to do. How do I make the butter room temperature, room temperature? I'm probably gonna measure off all the other ingredients and then I hope the butter will be on room temperature, tem temperature when I finish. Yes, the chili is ready. Oh my gosh, this stuff is life. I might even consider making a video about this because it's so freaking good and I don't want to hold out on you. Also, the butter, still a bit cold. Getting to room temperature, getting to room temperature. All right, I think the butter is not completely on room temperature. Tem temperature. It's still a little bit cold, but I think I can work with this. So let's make our second batch of chupatsi. Woo! Tesco! One of the biggest Dutch YouTubers. She's a singer as well. With an awesome rapper, Polska. It's on the radio, by the way, phonics. <laughs> Go, Tesco. Go, Polska. Go, Tesco. Go, Polska. Go, Tesco. Go, Polska. Sweet. Cake is in the oven. Ten more minutes to go. And then the chocolate is also ready. Mm -mm -mm. Cake is ready. And it's the same thing all over again. This little part is a bit more brown it's like, kind of like a dark brown it's not burnt but still it's a little bit of a shame and this time i use baking paper because i oh yeah that's nice lifts up awesome so this has to cool off the chocolate needs to cool off and then i can make the cakes again okay let's see if it worked out this time yeah of course Ooh, it worked out perfectly. Ta-da! Look at this, look at this. No more tears in the cake. Awesome. So I'm gonna um, cut it up into cubes, dip it in chocolate, dip it in the coconut, and then we have chupatsi in three, two, one. Damn it. Now! Perfect chupatsi. Awesome. Okay, now I really feel confident uh, of making these in front of a camera. Should be okay, it's not a really hard recipe or anything. And right now it is 10, 15 p.m. Project Sleep is into action because I haven't been on my phone since 9 p.m. And right now I'm going to bed, I'm going to read a little bit and then tomorrow we're going to wake up early again. I love, love the nude bodysuit, of course I have to wear a different bra with it. And these high-waisted jeans, they are freaking perfect if you like this vlog put a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel click that subscribe button because we are going to france on saturday and if you're not subscribed you don't get a notification of those awesome travel vlogs so click that subscribe button and then i will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye